Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I want to show you my awesome new Wix website. It's got everything I love all in one place. Ah! Well, of course. And we're live. Okay, so awesome. how's everybody share doing? Sound. Share your sound, please. Okay. You can't hear me? I hear you. I do. Oh, right. I won't hear nobody else. Okay, hold oh. on. Share system sound. There we go. Okay. So, uh, everybody with us? I think we've got our YouTube chat video up there. I'm not sure if I can see anybody talking to us. Maybe they're not. Maybe head on over to YouTube right, and head to YouTube. let's say hi and it's over there. It's been so long since we've been with everybody. We're really sorry that it's been so long. But yes. Yeah. But we're, we're, in the way. we're, we got some good stuff tonight and I'm trying to. All right. So I'm catching up on some of the messages up above. Hi, Pam Hilton. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Karen. Hi, everybody. Hi, Todd. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Jared. How are you? So, um, ha okay. For those of you that have never watched our show before, it's, I know it's been a while, probably since 2017 to be exact. Oh. <laughs> and we're now in 2018. It, my name's Amy, and this is Stan. Um, if y'all don't know who I am, I am definitely the, the original creator of Sublimation of More and all the groups. Stan's my, he's my sidekick, as I'd like to say. <laughs> right hand guy, left hand guy. <laughs> and then, the uh, guy. and then of course, I've got a great team of admins who would An not unbelievable be, admin team. Yeah, who we would not be successful in running these groups without them. So big shout out to them as well. I mean, they do, you guys don't understand what goes on behind the scenes of running a group of 23,000 or more members, um, you know, keeping it clean for you guys, keeping it fun, you know, um, and we have to watch a lot of stuff. So we appreciate when you guys report posts to us that, that you don't think seem appropriate for the groups, because we definitely uh, love that. So, um, so it's been a while. So what's everybody been up to? 2000... Um, Oh, I got, so I got goodies. What did you press? So I mean, we can give previews before we do the video. Um, and Stan's working on getting a video. His may not work out too well. I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, Technical difficulties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the hammer. <laughs> it was the hammer. How about my videos? Yes. All right, so um, I'm going to show you all what I pressed. <clears throat> and this isn't about just the, you know, items that Stan and I sell. It's about giving you guys ideas. Um, here's a pot mat. So I really she love She just happens to sell those though. Yeah, but you can buy these from a lot of places. Coastal, yes. Condi. So I'm not the only one. Johnson's. They're they're available. Coastal, Condi, Johnson's Plastics, RPL. You can get them all yes. from there. So, but I love how it came out. It is, I love how the wood and I love this design. I'm officially addicted to this. So I pressed that and I'll show you that. The next thing I did, is a bag tag. Now you guys may be familiar with these as the ornaments that I sold, they're called the Presidio ornaments. And I'm not sure this is going to be a bad glare, but 
Um, oh, and nobody look at my address. Don't come stalk me. All right. Anyways. Yeah. Not that not that you could look at her return labels on the boxes she sends you. <laughs> Anyways. So I love how this came out as a bag tag. I can't wait to maybe my next trip to New York. I'll put this on my luggage. Oh, yeah. Another item was something from UNICEF. We've had these. We've been sitting on these samples for a while. And Stan, you told me. So here's one of the samples. They're aluminum. Like. Press up in UNICEF. <laughs> They're aluminum photo panels. And look what I decided to do for okay. it. So I'm a big coffee junkie. I have no fresh coffee. I may leave the room at any given time. Um, fair warning. I actually do. <laughs> and I may go get some coffee. But I am a coffee junkie. And I'm the type of person, nobody judge, please. But I will go get my coffee. And my coffee, my coffee area is nowhere near the sink. So I get my spoon. Yeah. I get my spoon, listen, I get my spoon and I stir my coffee up after it makes out of the Keurig and then I just set my spoon back on the counter. Well, I have marble top counters. They're granite top counters and um, so it, they, it, you, and they're brownish, they're real pretty, but it doesn't, doesn't show, but still it's not clean. So I was thinking, and you're, t I'm talking like five, times a day I go in there and make coffee. So I was thinking, turn this aluminum into a coaster and set it by the coffee pot. I even added little feet so it doesn't scratch. So little, little rubber feet. So this is just something different you could do with these. And I love how this came out. Beautiful. So I made that, showed you how to do that. The last thing I did, we've been sitting on these for a while and Stan kept saying, we need to do this. We need to do this. And I'm like, Mm, I need oh, the you put the little rubber feet on them. Yes. W welcome to the party, Stan. <laughs> I discussed oh, that like five minutes ago. <clears throat> um, I was concentrating. Oh. Hey, it's eleven forty Eastern time, Saturday night. Okay? Amy, don't you see the smoke coming from his head? <laughs> well, I'm listening. I'm looking at Todd's comment that says Amy's looking on point tonight. Watch out, Eldon. Meow. Eldon's fishing. He's playing with the kitty cats tonight. Anyways, so, um, okay, so anyways, the last thing that we've been sitting on, I needed the perfect photo. I am very particular. I don't like to waste substrates. And so we have had those, Connie graciously gave us some samples to try of the color light acrylic photo panels. <clears throat> we've had these literally a long time. Well, I finally found the perfect photo. As you all know, I'm a first time grandma. And when Zachary had his six months photos done that's what i decided to put on one i Is didn't that, see the oh i saw yes okay you saw the photo i mean you've seen this photo has been floating around i put it on photos yes. i put it on puzzles and everything but is that oh, not, that's the color light yes and i curved look it with the jig and look how beautiful from both sides you can see it yes doesn't it's that look good beautiful i just love these things gorgeous Maybe that's not really coffee and Stan's uh, thing. Hi, Vicky. Coffee, oh, you never hi. know. Hi, Khaki. Oh, I'm, so I'm still reading on comments. Can I go back up? Oh, I can't. Look at that. I can scroll up on the comments. Woohoo. So I just want to give a shout out to Hi, Karen, Todd, blah, blah, blah. Todd's probably at least a bottle in already by now. It's late at night. Um, Jared. Eileen, Martha, how you doing, Martha? Hey, okay. all right. So, Stan, show them, show them, show them what you pressed. <clears throat> okay, it was a mess up. I originally wanted to go downstairs and make, you know, I work downstairs. My shop is under me, basement. Some of you in your garages, like Amy, basements, dens, back rooms. Well, I wanted to make a canvas wrap with the premium canvas bags that I have, the, the blank Santa sacks or blank laundry bags. Hello, Arkansas. Go ahead. Hello. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. I did it. It came out really nice. Oh, it's absolutely oh, beautiful. 10 out of 10, I give it. But I, but I, thank you. But I, I need to learn how to fold. And the other problem is, is that after it's pressed, I believe either the edges will need to be surged or maybe just glued with a little brush and just put glue along the edge to hold the threads from unraveling. 
Um, hey, we got our first YouTube comment over there. Hey, hey, uh, how are you? Custom Creations by Red. Thanks for joining us over there on YouTube. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna. Um, so that's what you pressed tonight, and I don't know if we're no, gonna have the video. No, 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 no. You showed more than one thing, and now you're cutting me off. I'm not cutting what you off. Heck? Okay. I'm not cutting you off. I'm only Okay, okay. I'm excited. It's been so long since we did this, and I always have so much fun. I made um, a spirit towel. Yay. The design that I have. 1527, please. Yep, these are the 1527 spirit towels, uh, 11 by 18. And I did two of them one for my son, one for me. This one is for my son. Yeah, and your wife gets shipped again. I will make you whatever you like. You know that. <laughs> and the colors are just gorgeous. So, oh, the sports towels. Yes. Well, you saw yeah. the ones I made for the, all of the basketball team, right? Yeah, <laughs> I, I love that. Mm -hmm. You know, these towels really take the black like no other. The sheen, I mean, even if you rub it against the the nap, it's still colored through and through. Well, I and love that. Sherry Shakespeare said you can sub on canvas. I didn't know that. No, you can't. You you can't sub on the regular cotton canvas that you get in, um, in Michael's. Michael's and stuff. What he did is he took... What he did was take the um you're fine, Stan. What he did was take I, I his, the I'm old cotton can like, what are you doing? We're live. What are you doing to me, kids? Uh, late at night, you're gonna get lots of excitement from us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Stan, explain what you did with the canvas in case we don't get your videos uploaded. Yes. Um, I, I had blank Santa sacks made from premium polyester canvas. Um, way better than 600 Dina canvas. It's a real woven, beautiful canvas. Our pillow covers are made from it. And I was thinking, you know, Christmas is over. I guess it might get a little busy, like July, August, with, you know, the kids going back to college and maybe doing some dorm laundry bags, you know, we'll sell some then, you know. And I really ordered a lot and I have them sitting downstairs and I was trying to think, you know, how could we get them moving? So, I cut the bag. You could get from one blank polyester, premium polyester sack, I believe four canvas wraps. Four. You can't beat that. You know, I cut it. You'll see in the video, I cut it with the scissor. Um, I actually left this one double. I didn't open up the bag. But if I would have opened up the bag, I would have been able to do both, you know, back and front by separating it. Or I could just um, take the threads out, actually, and, you know, do that. But I, would you I was lazy. The, canvas that you took off there? the rest of the canvas? What did you do with the canvas that you took off there? Oh, thank you. That is today will be kissable. Out, actually, and, you know, do that. But I, did you take it downstairs with you? I don't think so. I could have. But I, what I did was... I, I couldn't find locally any um, stretcher bars. That's the wood bars here. So my daughter went to Michael's and she bought me um, regular cotton canvas already mounted on here. And then I stood there with my knife and my pliers and I pulled out all the staples, took off the original canvas. I pressed the polyester canvas. Hi, and Rachel. Hey, Rach. <laughs> you'll see. But you can see how beautifully vivid that I took this picture at the beach. Okay, you got to go slow with your image because there might yes. be a little bit of a lag. So lag. that's the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, and I've been there. I've seen that bridge yep. personally. Right over here, is Statue of Liberty, way behind the bridge. I mean, you really can't make it out and all. And all the way over to the side. Well, I'll get better pictures for you next time, folks. But over here is the Freedom Tower. And that's, you know, looking right into Gravesend Bay or the lower New York Harbor. And you can see the sides. I wrapped it around. And I got some clouds on this side and this side. So I know I, I stapled it very sloppy. I did. I did the whole thing. The whole thing with cutting it, pressing it, stapling it, five minutes. 
I yeah, rushed. I mean, and, it just and I never to, did one before. It, it just goes to show we're always trying to think kind of outside the box on what the possibilities are and what we can do. I got dinner being delivered to me, y'all. If y'all don't know about Whataburger in Texas, it's the thing. Mm. Nobody saw that. Corn beef. Well, they asked if you wanted cheese or anything on that thing. You know, I would keep that. I said yes to cheese. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. My daughter just gave me a piece of corned beef from a really great deli in the middle. Well, just so you know, before you head there, this is how it started out. It's a blank sack. And what I did was, you can see in the video, I took my scissor and I cut across the top where the, the cinch tie is. See? I cut across the top right here like this. And then... Because I saw it was unraveling a little bit, I got afraid and I wasn't going to do it. But, you know, once you start subbing and you're having fun, you just got to keep going. So I made, the, I made the two towels and I said, you know, I really wanted to make this canvas wrap. I spent all that time yanking out those staples. Just let me give it a shot, even if it don't look good, because I've never wrapped it before. So all you... Um, Canvas wrap professionals. Oh, what's that? Oh, nice. So what I did was I printed it right in the center. You'll see in the video. And then I cut it right across here. So being that it's a bag, you would be able to get one, two, the other side, three, and four. You'd be able to get four canvas wraps. So once we figure it out, Stop eating. I'm hiding it in the cheeks. I'm not chewing. I'm just getting the flavor. Yeah. I didn't eat dinner either. But. Questions? Yeah, well, what's the name of that? Uh, polygloss? Something? I forget the name of it. They couldn't hear me. Thank you. All right, so we're going back on questions. What's the then? Uh, going back up, no, you cannot sub on regular the regular cotton canvases. So, but you can coat it you can pre-coat it and they've got that it's called die press there it is so die press, die is, press. is what you can one slice of corned beef just one yeah Mostly. you should be able to hear me now hello okay thank you um anyway so <clears throat> i forgot you guys are on a few seconds delay but um so you could coat it if you bought something from michael's and, tr and tried to do something like that um yes, yeah or you could do what Stan did, and that's where he's just showing you. If you have some scraps of poly, for that matter, you could, um, you know, you could take any poly material and stretch it around those boards and make it yeah. look like a canvas. So, as a matter of fact, I, you know, I, I still have it sitting here, but I actually went and I went to a, a regular fabric place right here in Brooklyn, and um, I actually bought some satiny type of material. It was a few dollars a yard, and yeah, you could. You know, make whatever you want with this. I haven't pressed it yet, but I am sure that it would be vivid as heck, you know? All right, so Vicky, Al Vicky Ellie said, um, I wanted to say everything. I'm trying to go back up. I, go ahead. She mentioned something about, oh, there you go. She said, if you take a lighter, you can slightly burn the edges to stop the raveling. Oh, I was thinking of that. Vicky Bovey said, am I just completely oblivious or did Stan grow a beard? <laughs> I did. I don't like it. And I had one when I was much younger, and my son is growing one, and he wanted to see in a few days how much hair he has here compared to what I have. And the comparison. They said they love the design. Four days, and this is that's like five. Okay. It's not fair. A couple of people said they can't hear Amy. Still, it's fixed now. They no said chance. better. I, I won't coat a mug. I, 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 uh, Sherry, Sherry, I, I want coat a mug. You wash it, you know, a lot, and, and it goes in the dishwasher, maybe. It probably would come off, you know, the dye trans. 
you know, you, you, you're much better off buying pre-coated mugs. Yeah, um, I wouldn't do the coated mugs either. I was just checking up on all the questions. All right. So it's been a while. My video is going to be long. Are you guys ready to see what all I made, how I made everything? For those of you that are experts, this is your time to go get your food, go get you some popcorn, go get your wine, go get you something to drink. Those of you that are noobs. It's not that long. Don't, don't scan them. You always scan them. But it should be interesting. All right, you guys ready? All right, here we go. Here we go. Here it is. Hey everyone, Amy here with Hellbound Designs and Sublimation and More. And in now this video, eat. I'm going to press a few things. It's, I know it's been a while, so I was feeling a little inspirational today. So I thought I would press a few different items. Um, the first item we're going to press is the sublimation pop mat. These are super easy. They're approximately seven by seven, um, one sided. <clears throat> As you can see, this is a smooth side. And then for the heat resistant, it's kind of like a waffle weed type design on the other side. Um, that is anything. something that I, that we sell at Hellbound right now. Um, the next thing we I'm pressing is a bag tag. So I'm thinking summer, Mother's Day, um, oh. any of these items would be great. And I was trying to think outside of the box. Now I know you guys have seen me offer these as ornaments. You can also get these shapes from other companies. Um, but I decided to convert it into a bag tag as well because I thought it would be cute. Okay, so I found, I had to find it. So it's a unisub aluminum. As you can see, it's white on one side and then it's aluminum on the other. Um, I plan on using this in my kitchen. So this is kind of stepping outside the box again. And I am going to put kind of like, it's going to be a coaster. And then I'm gonna put these little, these little rub, rubber feet. Sorry, I'm not used to my camera. I'm gonna put the little rubber feet on the bottom. I'm gonna put this right by my coffee pot, pot because um, I like to stir my, my coffee, put my cream and my sugar all in it, and then I'll just set my spoon down because my coffee pot is not anywhere near my sink. So this will keep um, the, the, the coffee from getting all over the counter and this should be easily, could be wiped off. So that's my thoughts. <clears throat> so we are going to go ahead and get started now. Okay, so I'm pressing the pot mat. It is approximately seven by seven, one-sided sublimation, the other side is heat resistant. Um, so they come in these individual packages. So I'm just gonna take that out. And then we're going to go ahead and press it. We're going to press at uh, 400 degrees for 60 seconds. So um, for most items, when you print, um, I am using a Epson Artesian 1430 with um, Cobra inks. And for most items, when you're pressing, you are going to make sure that you need to press in mirror view. All right, so which I have done here, just making yep, sure my go. template's gonna fit up and it is. All right, so what we want to do on this is we want to give it a little bit of um, a little bit of spritz with some adhesive spray. Um, you can get the adhesive spray from any of our U.S. vendors. Condi has it, Coastal has it, Johnson Plastics has it, and RPL has it. So here's my purpose, my multi-purpose spray. Um, I think you want to get lower than a 45 because this stuff is super sticky, so you got to be careful. You want to spray it over a trash can. You know, just gently do a couple coats, just like that. Lightly spray over the trash can. All right, so now we're gonna just line this up and this is the top. So we want it hanging down from there. I'm just gonna try to even it up as best as I can. Okay, and that looks pretty good. All right, next you need you need your protective paper. I recommend butcher paper. You can get it off of Amazon and big old rolls. And I'm gonna cut this in half to save so I can use it for another project. All right. <clears throat> So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this like this, flip it over, uh, 
You want paper face down, substrate face up. Medium pressure, 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Now, uh, make sure it doesn't move your paper when you do that. I think what I'm gonna do. So it doesn't mess up here. Slide it back. <coughs> too much pressure. Still too much pressure. No wonder why I couldn't get it over. All right, so we're going to let this cook. Uh, looks like I had it set for 50 seconds, so I'll kind of count down in my head to 10 and give it the extra 10. Um, and while we're sitting here waiting for this, I know you guys can see this heat press. This is the Green Monsters, I like to call it. Um, be sure to check out our YouTube channel at www.subandmore.com and you can find my full review of this. I've had it approximately two years and I got it from Sign Warehouse. Um, been going strong. The only difference is, is they no longer sell it with the pullout drawer. Reason being is because I believe it was a patent trade infringement on the fusion heat press because it's similar to it but um no worries don't work um i mean no it, this is not comparable to the fusion it is but the fusion has a lot more functions so this is pretty much just the cheap knockoff of it all right so let's go ahead and lift and we're gonna hope it came out good now what I like to do is always kind of lift at the corners and just hold it. If I didn't have tape here, what I would do is put my finger right in there and lift. If it needed more pressure or you found any spots that needed repressing, this way you know you can just automatically put it back in without messing anything up. But this looks good. So I'm just gonna take it off. And so Okay, so this is the finished pot mat, and I'm really happy with how it came out. So um, hopefully you guys will like it too. I love how the wood really comes through. It looks, I mean, it looks like real wood if I didn't know any better. So the colors all pop vi vibrant, um, and it's a cute design. Of course, it has my name on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this portion of the video about pressing the pot mat. Okay, so up next is um, Were you able to get my video uploaded? Not yet. I wanted to pause real quick. Um, sure. And Okay, so Sorry guys, I'm pausing. I paused real quick because I wanted did anybody have any questions regarding the pot mat? I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, I know Rachel was calling me out for not that for not doing that pre-press, pre but honestly, I don't pre-press a lot of things. I'm such a rule breaker. Um, I do pre-press. She pointed something out. One thing I always pre-press for moisture um, is stone slates. You really have to pre-press those to get that moisture out if you, if you want a good uh, if you want a good press. And then um, neoprene. Those those two seem to be boogers. You really should do it for MDF, but I slack with my MDF. So you really should pre-press on that. Everything else, I'm a rule breaker. But don't do what I'm telling you. I'm just giving you general ideas. <laughs> All right, so what spray did I use? That's a good question. It's an adhesive spray that I got off of Amazon. It's a 45, which there's a number... There's numbers, and I believe everybody else, the real companies like Condi and them, they sell, it's uh, what their adhesive spray is like a 35 and lower. The, the higher the number, the more sticky and tack you're going to get. So this, what I have, I don't recommend because I have to be very, very gentle with it. And it's it, it's, it gets really sticky, so I don't recommend that. If you're in the need for something, 
that light tack you could buy the adhesive spray at Michael's and stuff. They have like by Elmer's and stuff like that. Yeah. Right, a repositional, a mm -hmm. repositional adhesive spray. Yep. I, I personally like by Trans Pro Spray too. It's the only one I've ever used. So. The spritz. The spritz. All right. My spritz. Got so, again. Yes. We never stopped. Um, if you stop spritzing, you know you can't stop. Yeah. I can't see the questions. I wanted to go back and look. Um, no Teflon. No, 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 no. You don't use Teflon sheets with sublimation. You don't. That definitely not. Uh, butcher paper is what you want to use. Unwaxed white butcher paper. Yep. All right. So let's go back. We'll get uh, Teflon can trap the inks. You're absolutely right, Rachel. Thanks for pointing that out. And transfer back onto your next project if you don't wipe it off and jackie we'll says she it. uses basting spray from walmart very temporary that's awesome that's good to know all right so we'll go back to oh, sure we'll go back to the video Action. i am going to be pressing the presidio bag tag this remember if you guys remember if you watch or you buy from me you originally know this design as the presidio ornament let's see if i have one over here to compare to So, here is the ornament with the hole in it, as you can see, and here's the bag tag. Identical size. Only difference is the hole size. So, that is it. Um, these were really good sellers for me, so I thought this would make a really cute bag tag, especially when traveling over the summer. So, I'm going to use the same design as I did earlier on another video which is was on the pot mat and i've also used this design on a breadboard i believe so i'm gonna uh press this now it is double-sided just so you know and they should come with a protective covering on it so the first thing you want to do is peel the protective covering off and i'm doing that you just gotta try to grab it by the edges And then you just peel it right off. Make sure it's off, okay? Okay, so I already peeled off one side and you can see how glossy it is on that side. And of course, you can see this side's got scratches and stuff and that's not on the substrate, it's actually on the protective coating. So we're gonna peel this side as well. Okay, so I have peeled both sides. Now what I like to do is I like to take a um, microfiber cloth and I like to try to get any fingerprints I may have on it off. And I think I got that pretty good. There's a little bit of sticky from the protective coating on there, so I'm just gonna scrub it really good. Make sure it's off. All right. All right, so next we're going to press. Now you, because they're double-sided, you still have to do one side at a time. do is I'm going to actually just tape it down like this I have it where I wanted it you can use pro spray I don't like to use pro spray on, on yeah, these it's things tight. but I think I should be good okay so you, you cook these at 380 degrees for 50 seconds. So 
we got just the temperature here. And we're gonna let it cool down for a minute and then we'll come right back. Okay, we've reached 380, so I'm gonna go ahead and press. Firm pressure at 50 seconds. All right, we're in the last few seconds. Make sure you guys can see. Remember it's hot. I highly recommend you always use heat gloves. I'm a little persistent on not wanting to use them. Wow, that came out really nice. All right, so um, I'm gonna do the other side now. trick I like to do is if you have some tiles lying around that you haven't used whether sublimation or whatever I usually they stay really chilly so really cool shall I say and so I put my substrate on there to kind of get it to take up some of the heat so I can touch it All right, so now we're gonna do the other side, which has my address and all that good stuff on it. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna tape it. Down on all four sides. You could use Pro Spray or any kind of adhesive spray. Um, I just don't like to on my MDF so it's kind of my preference so we're gonna do the second side 380 for 50 seconds Wow Wow shiny vibrant um, I just, I really love how pretty my MDF comes out after being pressed. It's unbelievable. Okay, so there you have it. And it's a little hot to the touch again. So let's see if we can get it to... That's beautiful. Get it to cool down a little so I can touch it. Okay, so I have it warm enough to where I can put my bag tag on. And I guess you just stick it in there like that. So you just stick the bag tag in there and then you push the back through the holes. And there you have it. Love how this came out. So these would be super cute during the summertime to promote to promote your business you know um things like this are very inexpensive um you know usually around a dollar sometimes under a dollar but these are great as promotional giveaways that you could put your business logo on you know and give them away to people walk into stores and give them something like this to hang in there or whatever but these are great great they would be great promotional ideas for your business in addition to great sellers summer's coming up we got to start thinking about that guys okay so i hope you enjoyed this portion of the video thanks for watching well i love the way they came out very vivid it's, it ended you're live Oh, you had more video.
Why is she has more video for us? I don't know if they could hear me. Okay. So these would be super. No. Okay. <laughs> what do you what do you make it next? I forgot. I said the most funniest stuff and y'all couldn't hear me. I hate myself. No, no heat gloves. No yeah. heat gloves. I, I, I turn no, the no, mute no. on when I do the video. I know. I know. I'm so sorry. I know. And I'm getting the delay of everybody saying they can't well, hear me. Well, right. Well, yeah. What Amy said was while she was muted and she was talking to you, <laughs> nobody heard her was, go get a glass of wine, go get a drink, a rum and coke, some scotch. Sit back and watch us make some stuff. Yeah. I you said it Pretty a lot much. nicer than I did. I was being a lot more forceful, I think. <laughs> yeah, from Texas, something New York, you know. No, it's supposed to be the other way around. <laughs> the other way around. I know. I was... Um <laughs> so yeah, so I I like the questions about who really uses um who really uses their gloves. heat gloves. Well, I know you guys, in every video I do, I know you guys see me without heat gloves, the majority, and not uh, probably 90% of the time. But the, the three things that I really feel like you have to use heat gloves or you're going to burn the crap out of yourself are stone slates, <clears throat> any kind of stone, um, any kind of metal, aluminum, and any kind of ceramic, tiles, mugs, that kind of stuff. You have to use your heat gloves or you're going to burn, you're going to hurt yourself. So everything else, um, you can get away with not doing ooh, ooh, ooh. it. Oh, oh, oh. Marvin hit it on the head. What? I got to give it away. Amy's about to do a curved acrylic. What? Aren't you about to do a curved acrylic? No, I got to do the Unisub thing first. But I mean, but it's coming up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Marvin's like, you got to use gloves for curved acrylics. Yes. Let's see if Amy really does. Uh <laughs> I don't know. I'm not giving it away. Tonight. All right, let's go back. Color light. Okay. So these would be super cute All right, during sorry, the summertime to promote to promote promote your business. You know, um, things like this are very inexpensive. Yeah, get to the point. I know they don't want to rehear me bull crapping. All right, they don't know. Their settings are for these. I'm gonna take a wild guess. It's been a while. All right, so here's my pattern, and I just... Oh my God, I keep hitting it to... Oh my gosh, I did it again. Technical difficulties. Wow, you would think you would have another lady in these videos. I haven't downloaded or anything. I know. Well, at least my video is playing. Huh. Yeah. And, and, and great, we have they would be great promotional time. ideas for your business, in addition to great... I'm going to turn me down. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just going to turn myself down. No sound. Does that sound like anybody else? We're going to get the. Yeah. All right, there we go. Peel off here. And you know, I really don't know what the time and temperature settings are for these. I'm going to take a wild guess. It's been a while. All right, so here's my. I'm pattern so and audience. I just measured it as a four by four and I just made my template based on that. I didn't even download it or anything. Okay. Now to make sure it stays because the other side, I don't know if we're pressing the, we're going to just <laughs> do the same thing that we did with the, um, with the bag tag. I'm going to tape it down <clears throat> right where I want it. So, for those of you that are new to sublimation, I am using heat tape. You have to have a specific tape to do this. 
that can withstand the heat without melting in your press. So therefore, this is called heat tape. And you can get this from any of our suppliers as well. Um, I think I'm gonna take a, a shot at, because um, it's aluminum, I'm just gonna shoot for, let's try 400 degrees. Or 60 seconds and see what happens. Hopefully I don't over fry it. Now my press is not quite warm enough yet so um, and you remember when pressing stuff like aluminum and MDF um, <clears throat> because it 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 will pull more heat so it'll drop the temp on your heat press so you want to make sure your heat press is at the correct temperature and heating up the correct temperature because when you and I'll show you but when you press it it's the your te your temp is going to start dropping so let's wait for it to get up we're only five. and then I'll show you what I mean by it so we're going to wait for it to get to the 400 degrees once it gets there then we're going to press it Okay, so I just reached 400 degrees, so I'm gonna go ahead and press it. And you should see the temperature drop. Maybe I'm wrong. It's probably gonna prove me wrong this one time. And it could be because I had it warming up over the substrate, so. Oh, there it goes, yay! Thank you for not proving me wrong. So as you can see, the temperature dropped. So we are going for a uh, full 60 seconds on this and we'll come back when it gets done cooking. All right, we're in the last few seconds. Um, aluminum is no joke, guys. I recommend that you use your gloves when touching it when it's done. Ah, ah, ah. See, I know most of the time I don't use my gloves. I highly recommend you use your gloves when you're using something like this, when you're pressing something like this. Now, if you need to get your tape off. Wow. Ooh, I love <laughs> The gloves are on. Beautiful. Let me zoom in so y'all can see. Hopefully you can see the beautiful vibrant covers and how shiny it is. No joke, that's beautiful. I really love that. All right, so we have to let this cool down and then I'm gonna add the feet to the bottom of it. But I am very, very happy with that. All right, so we're gonna let that cool down and then I'm gonna add the feet to it. All right, it's cool enough for me to touch at the moment. So it's still a little warm, but that's good because I want the um, glue from on the back of the, the adhesive on the back of the feet to stick to it good and giving it, having it with the extra heat will do that. I'm sure you could buy these little stickies like this at any craft store. I'm not sure where I got mine. I don't remember. And I'm sorry, you're not able to see what I'm doing. So this just, just so that this doesn't scratch up my counter. I do have granite counters, so I don't think that should be a problem, but it gives it a little bit of a raise there. I love how that came out, beautiful. So again, this is gonna be a coaster that I'm gonna put by my coffee pot, I love it. All right, thanks for watching this portion of the video, guys. I hope you like this idea of stepping outside the box on what you guys can do with these um, aluminum um, square four by four pieces. Um, again, I got this from Unisub, and I'm not sure what the number is, but I'm sure you can find these from Condi, or Coastal or JP or any of the US vendors and RPL. All right, thanks for watching this part of the video. All right, it's cool enough for me to touch at the moment. So it's still a little warm, but that's good because I want the um, glue from on the back of the, the adhesive on the back of the feet. What happened? You doing it again? To no, stick I didn't touch to anything. it good. 
and giving it having it, it looks like it got doubled the in extra there. heat all right so let me move forward i i wasn't even anywhere near it so i don't know how that happened so now we're going to move on to the photo panel sorry about this guys the this color light the color light you uh, be depending on your time with these things as well I don't know what this thing is called but they sell it um, look under the acrylic section they have it so this is important too and I'll show you how to use it I just don't know what it's called and then of course you need the piece of acrylic all right so I have two of those there I didn't need two all right, and almost. heat gloves all right so I'm going to lightly coat just put a spray of this on I'm gonna do that now and you always want to do it over the trash can the reason you want to do it over the trash can is because if you do it anywhere else you're gonna get a lot of sticky around so you don't want it on your carpet or wherever you unless you're like working in a in a garage where you really don't care even then as you step on it it'll make your shoes sticky and eventually track into other places in the wherever your work area, uh, your home or whatever. Okay, so I have sprayed. Next, I'm going to position it on there. And you want to do, there's two sides. You got the, the soft, glossy side, and then you've got the frosted side. The frosted side is the side that has to go down on the paper. Also, they said do, you don't uh, mirror image this was just a piece of, um, this was just a print. So I printed in mirror image, but it doesn't matter because there was no text. So just so you know, this is going to be the same as like uh, any other glass that you do. You don't need to mirror image it. All right. I'm not sure I like that. Uh, This is why I hate using the spray on stuff like this. Okay, that'll look good. Sprint. All right, so next what they say is you need to have this down here. I believe covered with paper. I'm guessing, guys. Okay. You want to take another piece of paper and cover on the top of it. And then you're going to take this and put it over it, your rubber. All right. According, ah. So according to the instructions, medium pressure, um, I'm going to cook this for about 190 seconds. And I think I got too much pressure. All right, there we go. All right, so we're going for 190 at 400 degrees and we'll come back as soon as it's done. All right, so we're winding down to the last few seconds. You're gonna need heat gloves for these because this is gonna be hot and I have to put it into the jig now to mold it into its curve. So I've gotta be kind of quick about that. Um, so that's what I'm fixing to do next. All right, so hopefully all goes well and you guys can see me video of this process. Okay. Okay, so that did really good. Now we gotta get it into the jig. So hopefully you guys can see me do this. So it's gonna be kind of melty, because it is acrylic. And you wanna get it in there, I believe. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be that way or this way. Okay, I think I think it's supposed to be in this way. 
So you put it in. <laughs> Remember, I've never done this before, guys. And you kind of just push it down. And then what these are for is just to hold the lid in place. And I'm just gonna push down on it for a few seconds because it doesn't look like it's giving it its, the full curve. Maybe it is, I don't know. That's kind of what it looks like. I'm sure these can be used more than once, so save them. And we're just going to wait for it to cool now. I think it, it'll take about five minutes for it to cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just clean up, and we'll come back in five minutes once it's done. Okay, I believe it should be cool enough. So we'll just take it out. And there you have it. Wow. Unbelievable. Don't know if you guys can see. It's still a little hot. Um, and I had... There's some residue from the pro spray on the other side. So what I recommend is just take a little, take a soft cloth and some alcohol or, or um, Windex will work good too. And just gently rub it off and it's getting it all off there. I use these old microfiber dish, their car cleaner towels for just about everything in here. So, wow, let me see. I just love how that looks. And you can display it from either side, but I wanted the, the glossy side to show, so that is why I chose to bend it that way. If you wanted the matte side to show, you could have just bent it the other way, but I really love this. Okay, I believe it should be cool enough. I do it again. So we'll just take it out. No, you're so good. No, it's replay. It restarted, so it's done. All right, it's done. Let's it's go. done. She's it's, finished. It's done. All right, I'm done. Yay! But I honestly, my first time doing that, I'm really impressed with how. Uh, how, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to be honest with you. <clears throat> All right. So what I'm going to do, go ahead and talk, Stan. What do you got? What do you got for us? Well, you know, I, I see, you know, I, I didn't realize the jig was 50 bucks and a pack of pressing pads, 25 bucks. <clears throat> the blank itself is by approximately five bucks. As, um, Eileen said, but I tell you though, you know, some of these companies charge a thousand dollars for a 3d press. And not worth it. I mean, you know, uh, a one-time charge of fifty dollars for a jig, and you can make these curved, you know, um, color lights for a very long time off that fifty dollars. But you do have to buy the different jigs for the different sizes, I would imagine. So that too. Yeah. No, I agree with you on that. Um, I'm just. But I like it. I mean. They got a beautiful appearance. Um, I'm not sure what a resale value could be of something like that, but honestly, what? I see this. If if here's the deal, I don't, I don't know the investment would be so good for people starting out. It seems like it's a costly investment, but if you're in with realtors and photographers, if you if you market to those two industries. I think this would really be good sellers for you, especially with photographers, because I mean, this is just beautiful. I can imagine 
if the lady that did these portraits for my grandson, if she had offered this, I probably would have bought a couple of them from her. Even, you know? though, you, even though you can make it. Well, no, if I couldn't have made it. I'm saying if I wasn't in the industry, I would have easily bought this. You know, and honestly, what about sports? Because um, I'm a big sports mom. You know, my son played football for 10, 12 years. My that daughter's team picture, that team picture of your daughter last week with, with the basketball team would be perfect on that. Yeah, I wanted to bring that down. It's in her bedroom. I didn't get a chance to show that on a plaque, but um, yeah, that's that, that would be for another for another YouTube episode. But um, uh, I was just going through questions let's let's answer some questions before we get on to stan's video real quick um um amy's using an epson artisan 1430 you lost your sound there amy again oh oh okay no 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 you got your sound i was looking at facebook and not our oh okay sound. yeah um I was just trying to go back on some of these people's questions and I can't get this to click. What the heck is going on here? Um, so I could scroll up. All right. Don't you know how to use a computer? No, there we go. I don't, I'm really retarded. I mean, um, I'm really, <laughs> I'm really, really bad at using computers. Not good at, at all. So anyways, um, I, um, one second, Vicki, um, as far as the jig, I, I'm sure you can think it's, you know, come up with something to make the curve because the color light itself is very soft when it comes out of the press. So it'll probably take any shape that you lay it into. Jackie Drolet so. wants to know if Amy has that design available for sale. Oh, I don't know. Do you have that design available for sale? Amy? Oh, you would like to buy my grandson? He's not for sale. I'm sorry. Oh, the grandson, the pot mats. <laughs> oh, the pot mats. Um, Silly. Or the bad pigs. I'll have to check into it because I use some pieces. To, I put that together. I'm not going to deny that I got some, the, the mason jars came from a template package I had purchased and I got to look at the licensing on that on whether I can do that or not. So I'll, I'll let y'all know, you know, I don't want to, I wouldn't want anybody to do that to me. So I'm definitely not going to do that to somebody else. So let me double check the licensing agreement on that first um, before right. I, throw that out right. there. There's a lot of elements that you buy from, let's say, Creative Market or... The Hungry um, JPEG. JPEG. Mm -hmm. they, they, if you use the... Depends on the author, of course. But, you know, you use the elements with other elements and create design with it. I believe sometimes they allow you to resell the design in whole, but not the individual elements. Yeah, as long and most of the time, some of their on. yeah, most of the time, some of their requirements would be as long as it's a flattened JPEG, you know. So you put you add all your different elements on it, and then if you flatten it, then you can sell it. So, um, but I'll check into that because it. Uh, I originally put that together. To push, huh? I was just reading. Oh. He was talking about the pad. What about the pad? I, oh. I believe the, the white one looks like felt, thick felt. It's, it's made out of a really weird material. Um, it feels, yeah, if it, it's like a felt. Um, I'm just trying to see. I'm on Condi's website to see what it's made out of. I saw Rachel posted that Teflon can trap the inks. Right, yeah, sure. So when do you use Teflon? If you do HTV vinyl. Yeah. Only on vinyl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or if you're taking size of glitter and you're pressing an image onto it, you would want to press it onto the Teflon so after the sublimation is on the the glitter, the HTV glitter, you could peel it off and then press it onto a... So for like newbie that's... Stay away from Teflon. <laughs> yeah, and, and, that, and, and so we get a lot of people, we get a lot of people that jump from the um, vinyl industry into sublimation. And... I'm going to be honest with you. Anybody who goes from vinyl to sublimation and you're still doing vinyl, you're crazy because the thought of weeding makes me want to vomit. I'm just sorry. It does. I don't literally, literally, I've got all this vinyl back there and I swear to God, I don't touch it. I don't like to do anything with vinyl. In fact, I probably need to detach that at some point, but, um, and that's because sublimation is expanding dramatically. It's already grown in the three years I've been doing it. It's it, to what, to what you can uh, do with sublimation. It's just, 
the colors, it seems it's more realistic. You don't, I don't feel as limited as I, I did when I first started. I mean, it's just, they're even making the shirts. I know y'all got that. Did, oh, right. vinyl does have its place because Amy made those beautiful pillow covers. I was just going to say, yeah, the, she's, she's, she's sticking the vinyl, but yet she wouldn't have those beautiful doggy pillows on her couch if it wasn't yeah, for the vinyl. Yeah, she mixed that, that oil, the HTC. The H Apollo and Bella would have been... Yes. I, okay, I did do that, but I did that. I do, and I'm putting foil. I do like it's the thought. foil. I don't like vinyl as much anymore, but I do like the foil, which is the the. It's you can get a one step foil now, which I believe Synergy sells that. But um, I use do the two step, and I I don't know. I there's something about the foil I just like the way it pops. So you know, but what I was gonna say is I don't know if you guys, any of you guys got this in the mail. I got this about two weeks ago. And it came with, I want I think my next level, maybe my next level magazine. So what is awesome about this is it tells you, me and Stan were talking about this. It tells you about these Gildan's performance and what they can be used for at the bottom. Make sure I'm not on the Spanish side. I'm Hispanic, but I can't read a lick of it. Okay. So, um, so like, and honestly, this... This jersey knit right here, it's the jersey knit in the styles available of 42. It's the green one, sorry. This feels unbelievable. It feels a little bit like cotton to me. I, I, I mean, so what I'm saying is I don't, I feel mm. like the industry is really starting to expand for us, you know, and we're not feel so limited because back in the day, this polyester jersey knit stuff right here is what we were limited to by vapor and stuff and i'm just i feel like our t-shirt vendors are really starting to step up and realize that sublimation is a thing a thing here to stay so um y'all didn't get this this is really cool anyways all right so we know it's late let's get to stan's video because he's really excited about how he did this and i'm sorry i cut him off but i was waiting for his videos to come to me no, anyway so okay. so we'll go over to stan now I hope I got your videos in order. Wow. Hey, everybody. 405 for 45 seconds. Well, okay. yeah, we're going to be doing a towel. Oh. Um, it's a spirit towel. It's um, 11 by 18, I believe, or 12 by 18 in size. Um, I, I planned on doing a canvas wrap, um, but when I cut the canvas, I noticed that my edges were fraying a little bit you know so either I could do it and then after we press it maybe I could put some glue on the edges to hold it down or something like that but I'm just not sure but we'll see so let's get started so what I'm going to do Ooh, hot never do what I just did touch the hot stage <laughs> as the rubber bottom is called the stage Okay, I like snapping my items to help get any of the lint off or any schmutz that might be laying around. Um, it's always a good idea. And we should do a pre-press. I'm running into one little problem. Ooh, it's more than a little problem, folks. It's a big problem. I gotta find my lint brush. My lint roller. Okay, hold on one sec. I don't know. The video scores. Well. That's that first video. I'll have another image I want to do also. Another towel. No, we missed the whole. And this one has my name on it. Technical difficulties we need to handle. Okay. I hope that's not recording Something backwards. Happened. Thanks, Amy. Okay, we have 14 seconds left, folks. Check the corners of this print to make sure we don't have any old print. No, we don't. Not like the first one. 
Hey, one second. Here we go, folks. Like I always say, our moment of truth. Remember my cover sheet? You can see all that extra dye on there. You want to remove this quickly? Huh? And here's our town. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. You cannot beat these towels. They are gorgeous. Okay. Yeah, let's let that cool off a little bit. I want to show you folks. Now we use that cover sheet and we wow. use the bottom sheet to protect our yeah, heat press. Really As you can see, this would have been on the bottom of the heat press on our stage, the rubber. Um, this would have got on the back of a t-shirt. Um, it, you know, it would transfer to your very next project. There's no reason not to spend a few dollars, get the butcher paper. It lasts a very long time. Oh, yeah. The best 15 or $18 you could ever spend. Because if I didn't have a top cover sheet on the whole project, this also would have migrated to the top of the platen. And again, both sides of your next project would have had a little bit of your last project. Nobody wants that. Those are the microfiber towels, Let's get right? Some scrap paper. The spirit towel. Let's hustle. Yeah, the spirit towel. Mm -hmm. For my recording stops again. Let's get our next towel. Snap it out. Check the the, the pile or the nap. Make sure it's all running in the same direction. I use my lit roller to put Get it all in the same direction. Extra fibers off. Remember, this was a clean sheet. Okay. Let's get a new cover sheet from our roll. Let's give our 10 second pre press. Boy, I tell you, this is amazing. This is just beautiful. I amaze myself. Every time I take that cover sheet off, I could, you know, sublimate a thousand items, and every one is like the first. I mean it. I really mean it. I'm always amazed. Okay. Let's get out of the roller. Let's pull it down. Pull it down. Pull it down. Okay. Let's get our next image. This one is for me. The last one was for my son. We want to get our Ditrans Pro Spray 2 to show you how little you use. This can's two years old. Amy, who's eating Just a that little child? mist into the air is all you need. <laughs> so put that down. <laughs> and we're gonna. Are they watching like horror movies? Or something? <laughs> Very similar. She's playing Xbox. Like and this. Yes, that is my daughter doing that. So I can just get my. Jen, Jen's watching on a different computer. She yells to me over. She goes, "Who the?" No one to drag screaming? it because no one schmear any die. Okay. Make sure it's all edge to edge. Did you hear that? A little, little too I much. Mean, it. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. Yes, I did. I hit the mute button. Um, you can hear it releasing. Oh, you heard that? And I pat it down to make sure. And you can see here's our image and our towel. Just want to check. You look good. And here we go, folks. Sorry if I'm rushing. I just. I don't want the machine to stop recording again. 4.05, 45 seconds, and we're on the way. This was my original canvas wrap project I was going to do. Well, I guess it didn't work out. 
I'm gonna try to do it anyway. Looks good, oh, right? Wait. That's my fat belly. 15 <laughs> seconds. Sorry, okay, I'll wait. Fat belly in the way. Well, at least you're pointed at the press this time. Yes. <sighs> okay, folks, three seconds left. And here we go. The moment of truth. Let me see that steam. Our project. We get that off quickly. This out of the way, and we have a beautiful, beautiful pool towel. Stan uses a sawgrass, very the hot. SG800, <laughs> right, Stan? Yes. You can see how blacks so are very black. SG800. And another beautiful project. See that? Okay, let's see if we can hurry up and get another thing done. So, This was a messed up project. I was going to do a canvas wrap for y'all, but the edges were fraying on my canvas, so I'm going to have to get it either surged and get it pre-made and stuff for that. And that would be the best bet, you know. Um, but since I've already cut my bag, let's play. So let's use the bottom edge. I'm going to leave it hang off like this. I'm going to get another piece of paper. Just getting it ready. Let's get free press going. Nice. Medium pressure. 10 seconds. We're going to flatten it out. It was folded inside of its bag that it came with. It's that 10 second pre-press. Sorry I'm moving so quick, but I don't want the machine to stop recording in the middle. Flattened it out very nice. Give a quick lint brush. My pre-made image. Usually I would cut it off, but we're in a little bit of a rush. A little Dab will do you, a little spritz. I'm going to throw this down. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to press. These are the blank Santa sacks. Um, these are great for really, you know, warm room laundry bags. Equipment bags for football teams, baseball teams, softball's coming, baseball's coming. Perfect equipment bags. Um, they also print very, very vivid, very beautiful. I didn't do a beautiful, you know, towel, colored towel kind of vivid, beautiful. I did a picture that I took at the beach at sunrise, at sunset. And it's an original picture. And it was intended to be wrapped, but maybe I'll still get that part done. Um, here we go. We got 15 seconds. I was only had it at 45 seconds. I never changed it from the settings for the towel. And we're going to go one, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> and I guess that's about it. Okay, folks, here we go. The moment of truth. Man, it's that beautiful. Look how vivid that is. This would really make a good canvas wrap if I could get it figured out. You know, the idea was to have it wrapped around here so that our edges. You know what? I have an idea. It wasn't my original idea, but you know, it just might work. And, you know, I left it at 405. That's a little too hot for this. I think um, 390 is good enough. It yellowed a little bit on me. My own fault. Um, what did I do with those scissors? Wow. Well, I don't have the scissors on me. I don't know what I did with them.
I have scissors all what over I was my office. To do was get this stapled like this. We just organized the basement with all the boxes and everything, with all the shipments coming in this week. Just so you could so, see what my idea was. This isn't the, you know, exactly what I wanted to do, or the way I wanted to do it. But you know what? It's going to work a little. Again, not the way I wanted. Okay, guys. What did you do with the scissors? Here we go. Okay. And we're going to pull that taut like this. Staple this in. I've never made one of these before. Folks, I don't know if I'm ever going to make another one again. <laughs> but this was the idea. I don't know if I need to cut this is where I stop. I'm winging it, folks. You know you're saying what the heck? Because I kind of am too. But when I unwrapped this canvas wrap from Michael's, I had the edges cut like that. So you could tuck in and make a, a fold like this. Oh, I'm messing this up, folks. Okay, it's my first one. Cut me a little slack. Okay, my methods need to be worked on. As long as you don't hear any yelling, I put a staple through my hand. I'm doing okay. Ooh. Ah, this piece of the cord. That's pretty funny. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. So forgive me. Forgive me, forgive me for messing this up. I'm going to try and... <clears throat> And I guess that's what's really important, that we try. I'm going to fast forward it through all this. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to fold this one over. It does look really good as you're slowly putting it together. Yes. I'll work on my yeah, like, you know, If I really watch time. the videos and learn how to do it the correct way. I'm just trying also to give you guys remember. ideas, that's all. That's so those of you that thickness. have done canvas I didn't, wraps I didn't separate the pieces of canvas. I'll have a better understanding. I notice I didn't have none of the pliers, none of the things I should have had to do this. I guess I am totally unprepared. But I think it's going to come out beautiful. Anyway. Pulling it taut. Okay, folks. You know what? I think we did okay. I mean, yeah. You know, we're not selling this. I want to hang it in my bedroom or something. 
that, that came out pretty damn good. So you can see that the problem I have is the fraying. So maybe now I could put some glue or tape on it. And that'll be fine. It's nice and taut. Okay, folks. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for trying to do a canvas wrap with me. Um, maybe some of the experts will give us some pointers on our corners. Maybe I'll watch David Gross's video from Conde. And maybe I'll learn a little bit from there. I've learned so much from there. Great resource. Um, yeah. Thank you, everybody. I'm going back upstairs to go live with you. Bye-bye. Oh. I lost half the people during my boring video. Sorry, folks. Didn't mean to bore you. <laughs> No, it's probably it's probably just because it's, it's late. late. Yeah, absolutely. One o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Is it? But you know, I, I think it came out pretty good. It really did. I think so. I have a problem with my heat press though. What, <coughs> what problem me. is that? I don't, to, I don't know if you've noticed a lot of the projects that I make. I uh -huh. get that white cold spot in the center. Look. You see it right in the middle of the wave there? Oh, yeah. Hi, Suzanne. Suzanne's on. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Right here. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you think causes that? I've actually read that it's common in some of the models from Geo Knight, and they've corrected it on their newer machines, but the year that mine was made, they had a lot of problems. They, it's a lifetime guarantee on the plant, and so... I just been a little lazy. I'll call up and whatever tests they want me to test and whatever pictures they want, pictures I can send them. Oh, and so at least they'll take, but yeah. they'll take care of you. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four bolts and a plug. It'll be easy. Mm hmm All right. So we are glad that you guys got to join us. We know it's late. Um, we're going to wrap some things up. You all know that I got a laser. So that's what's new with me. I've been kind of busy. And have it is really easier for like the chin hair and stuff to get rid of the hair. Or yeah, yeah, do? yeah. I'm really excited about what all I can do with the yeah. laser. I haven't I haven't quite. Um, it it's been a little chilly here in Texas, so my laser's in my garage. So I haven't really been out there to do much. I've I've done some test sample hey, cuts. You know, I'm making new keychain styles. I don't know if you guys have seen that yet. Ooh. Come on, it's not zooming in. All right. All right. They can't Those see. Those came out great. You know, I'm going to start like in this Texas. And no, I don't believe she can cut metal with it. I believe the metal ref reflects yeah. the laser. You can't cut metal. Yeah. yeah. That was Louisiana, I think. I think. Um, another one I did, I did, you know, I go back and forth, <clears throat> uh, Kentucky. I know I'm tired. Nice. And grad hats, which I made one of my daughter. I don't know where it's at, but they're super cute. So I am working and testing, you know, you can, the good, I feel blessed because I'm, I'm one up on a lot of people. I know I have a great knowledge of graphic design. So getting the graphics and the formats they need for the laser is um, hasn't been that much challenging for me at all. So that's what I've been up to. So I've been a little busy with that. Um, again, I'm glad you guys watched the videos. Stan made towels. Again, here's my color light acrylic from Condi. I love how that came out. Um, Unisub panel. My feet are coming off. I'm gonna have to glue them on, but I still love how vibrant it came out. I mean, this is Anything from Unisub in this metal, you could print and put sell it just as much as you could this. I mean, it's just phenomenal. Oh, that makes a perfect trivet. Yeah. It really does. So, I just... Yeah, the grad hats are cool. I just need to get my, my little feet glued on so I can put it in there. All right, we appreciate y'all watching. She wants a Jamaican one. Oh, the grad hats. Oh, Jamaican um, keychain, got it. Okay, I was like, Jamaica what, huh? Coffee? You're making me crazy. <laughs> Jamaica me crazy. <laughs> That's funny, Stan. 
the grad hat so okay so yeah i'll be listing these little things like this eventually soon on my website um china i don't know what's up with these china men but they had to go on a month-long holiday and they're killing me so i'm waiting on supplies specifically a large shipment of mdf to come in before i can really be in full force business and <clears throat> as soon as i get that in then i'll be cutting away and taking quotes and all the kinds of good stuff so love jamaica jamaica man yeah man uh, all right it's late it's 12 o'clock here it's two o'clock somewhere oh. yeah yeah i just want to get a few things out real quick um one remember there's no mail on monday Oh, so yeah. any of the orders that come in, they won't go out until Tuesday morning when the next pickup comes for FedEx and uh, USPS. We get two pickups a day. Um, also, you know, our websites work differently. Amy has a plug-in, and she actually sat there and painstakingly entered all her weights and sizes and ounces and pounds and different boxes she uses, and it really took a lot of work, and a website, you know, figures out the shipping. I haven't actually done that yet, and I send shipping invoices. So just be aware that after you make a purchase within 24 hours, you'll be getting a shipping invoice. Your mic cut out. Okay. You're really low. I'm sorry. I don't know why. Let me see if I can. But... Okay, I got you on my end. I turned you up. Okay. So just remember that I send shipping invoices and... Um, you could also, they come via email. You could also find them at the top of the website on the right side where it says my account and orders. And there's also links on all the emails that we send out, whether it's your receipts, your invoices, or reminders. We also send reminders. We have some packages sitting here for a very long time. We send reminders every other day. So, guys, package is yours. It's sitting here. Pay your shipping. You'll get your packages. It. Yep, so everybody. Oh, my, my faux burlap water that was supposed to be here on the 16th, uh, yesterday or the day before, will be coming in during this week at some point. It's at customs, just waiting on inspection. So, just a few more days away, I hope. Fingers crossed. But it is in America. It is only about 22 miles from my house. So, Stan, I forgot to tell you. What? Guess what showed up today? What? My lost shipment. The lost lost package from yeah yes yes they they actually shipped my pet one of my packages they delivered it to amazon on the dock yes yes that Amy checks it right what, you mean they, they sent it to jamaica to the beach for that's rest? what happened to us they i got my jamaica queen my package went to jamaica queen six times you're just, the wrong address six times after that go ahead amy I'm you sorry. were so, you were you just weren't very firm you heard me on the phone with that ups representative i said I, you heard me I was cueing you. I was giving you things to say. So anyways, puzzles. That's what was in there. So I've got a lot of the 80s and 120s. They'll be back in stock. I just got to update it tomorrow. So uh, lots of puzzles are in stock. Um, that's what was lost, and I was freaking out over it. But, hey, it showed up today. Yep. All right. So, again, we've been gone. But, you know, when we come back, we come back with a long video. So we hope you guys enjoy it, though. We showed you a few different things and um, a couple tricks and what we use gloves for and what we don't use gloves for and what we pre-press and what we don't pre-press. Um, press everything. Not yeah. You should pre-press everything. Get that moisture out. Take no risks. I don't think the things I don't pre-press come out any worse than yours. No, they come. You've been very lucky. Because I think you're in a dry, you know, a dry area. He, me, I'm by the ocean. Happy I did. Happy, happy birthday from Jen. I'm maybe, by the ocean. Maybe that has something to do with it. Is, uh, you know, humidity and temperature in the air. So, hmm, never thought He's of that. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, ladies and gents, we are out. We hope you guys enjoy the show. It looks like we drizzled well, down to a little measly. Um, how many viewers we got we, with us? Woo! Well, we have we have 18, 16 hardcore sublimation addicts still watching us. Thank you for staying with us. You guys are the dedicated ones. We love you for that. Everybody else that jumped ship, shame on you. Templates will be available this week for these designs. Yeah. All right. We're, we are out. Thank you, guys. Thank you for watching. We hope you guys have a fantastic Sunday. Thanks for joining us.
and hold on, we are out in Facebook. YouTube, we're still here. YouTube, <laughs> hi. You're always last, YouTube. We have three watching. Hey, three. Hey, three. How do I you? We love you, three. Thanks for staying with us all the time, YouTube. We love you. We should give two hours later. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Good night, YouTube. Good night, Peace. everybody. Peace. Peace out.